Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. So, as I keep saying, it is an election year in the United States of America, and as such, all eyes were on President Joe Biden to see how he would celebrate Easter this year. See, in an election year, the scrutiny is more potent than ever, even on holidays, and his critics were on the lookout for any sign of weakness. And unsurprisingly, they found one, when Biden misspoke and called the adorable Easter bunnies oyster bunnies. God bless you all. Enjoy the day. And I'm coming down to do that Easter egg roll in just a minute. Thank you all so very, very much. Thanks, everybody. And by the way, say hello to oyster bunnies. Come on up, bunnies. Get up here so they can see you. Oyster bunnies. They don't sound very tasty, do they? Still, at least those optics weren't as awkward as Easter 2022, when an errant Biden wandered off course and had to be guided back to safety by none other than one of his proverbial oyster bunnies. Awkward, yes, but uh, a fairly innocuous, amusing exchange between Joe Biden and this suited performer, right? Well, maybe until you see it from this angle. <laughs> whether Biden is seeing the Easter Bunny or the monster from his childhood nightmares, but either way, it looks like he's ready for some chicken soup and a nap at the Long Autumn facility for senior living. Anyway, back to this Easter. It wasn't just a verbal flub that caused the critics to crow in 2024. But before I tell you what did enrage the critics, everyone, I have an announcement to make. I am now appearing every week, twice a week, on ADH TV. Your girl is hosting two shows a week, and I'll be bringing you not only the latest news from around the world, but also some of the most interesting people in it. I've put the link to my latest two shows in the pinned comment and the video description. Please give them a watch. And also make sure you download the ADH TV app so you can watch me on demand whenever you want. And best of all, it is free to watch and download. All you need is an email address to create an account, no card details required ever, and you have access not only to my content, but tons of other amazing conservative shows and interviews as well. So please click the link and join me at ADH TV. I think you would all really enjoy it. So, as to what did enrage the critics on Easter Sunday, Joe Biden tweeted this. Today, on Transgender Day of Visibility, I have a simple message to all trans Americans. I see you. You are made in the image of God and you're worthy of respect and dignity. Now, this would seem a peculiar thing to highlight on Easter Sunday, even if Easter did happen to coincide with Trans Day of Visibility this year, which is a day that happens every year on the same date, March 31st. It is worth noting that Biden also tweeted out an Easter message stating, Jill and I send our warmest wishes to Christians around the world celebrating the power of hope and the promise of Christ's resurrection this Easter Sunday. Nevertheless, it is hard to conceive of Joe Biden distracting from any other religion's holiest of days with the culture war bomb that is Trans Day of Visibility. I mean, can you imagine Biden tweeting that during Ramadan or Hanukkah? Certainly, Republicans seized on the excellent political opportunity it was to rain a few electoral blows on Joe Biden. Republican Speaker of the House Mike Johnson led the charge with, the Biden White House has betrayed the central tenet of Easter, which is the, resu the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Proclaiming Easter Sunday as Transgender Day is outrageous and abhorrent. The American people are taking note. Strong words indeed. However, when asked by a reporter about Speaker Johnson's comments, Biden said, he didn't do that. Sir, Speaker Johnson said you betrayed the tenet of Easter by proclaiming Sunday, Easter Sunday as Transgender Day. He called it outrageous and abhorrent. What do you say to Speaker Johnson? He's thoroughly uninformed. Uninformed how? I didn't do that. Now, this would seem to be gaslighting of the highest order since Biden did, in fact, do exactly that which Speaker Johnson pointed out by tweeting the statement that Biden made on Easter Sunday, which read, Now, therefore, I, Joseph R. Biden Jr., President of the United States of America, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the United States, do hereby proclaim March 31st, 2024 as Transgender Day of Visibility. So, 
Seems pretty clear that Biden proclaimed Easter Sunday Trans Day visibility, right? Now, of course, White House Pre Press Secretary, the long-suffering Corinne Jean-Pierre, defended the tweet, pointing out, as I mentioned earlier, that the Day of Visibility happens every year. Every year for the past several years, on March 31st, Trans Transgender Day of Visibility is marked. And as we know, for folks who understand the calendar and how it works, Easter falls on different Sundays, right? Every year. And this year, it happened to coincide with trans, uh, Transgender Visibility Day. And so that is the simple fact. That is what has happened. That is where we are. And I do want to say a couple of things because I think it's important here, uh, as you just stated in your questions, what we've been hearing out there, a lot of misinformation done on purpose. Uh, and as a Christian uh, who celebrates Easter with family, President Biden stands for bringing people together and upholding the dignity and freedoms of every American. Now, sadly, and it's not surprising, right? It is actually unsurprising that politicians are seeking to divide and weaken our country with cruel, hateful, and dishonest rhetoric. It is dishonest what we have heard the past 24 hours. Now, for any Democrat to criticize another human being for spreading misinformation or for hateful, divisive, or dishonest rhetoric uh, is pretty darn rich, let's be honest. Nevertheless, even though Trans Day of Visibility does happen every year, why make a statement about it when it lands on Easter Sunday? Gender ideology is such a political hot potato at the moment in the USA, and it gave Biden's opponents such an easy shot. I mean, as I said, I can't imagine Biden recognizing this day on any other religious holiday. And what better way to rally Christian Republicans than to point out that the Democrat president is glorifying an alternate ideology on Christianity's holiest day? Certainly Donald Trump jumped in, calling on Joe Biden to apologize in a statement from his press secretary and saying this at a Wisconsin rally. And what the hell was Biden thinking when he declared Easter Sunday to be Trans Visibility Day? Such total disrespect to Christians and November 5th is going to be uh, called something else. You know, it's going to be called Christian Visibility Day when Christians turn out in numbers that nobody has ever seen before. Let's call it Christian Visibility Day, all right? Powerful words. And again, the easiest shot for Trump to take. It will go down very well with his base. So why on earth? Did Joe Biden decide it was a good idea to make a fuss about Trans Day of Visibility on Easter Sunday in an election year, given how politically contentious the issue is? Is it because they thought the consequences of not mentioning Trans Day of Visibility would be even worse? You know, that is, risking the highly aggressive and litigious trans activist brigade getting noisy and nasty should the Biden administration ignore the day? Was it to polarize the political landscape even further? Thus more firmly cementing Democrat voters in their camp since the anger from Republicans would likely send Democrats scuttling to dear leader. Or could it be to distract from something else, namely the terrible state of the nation under Joe Biden? I mean, after all, in an election year, I'd imagine the Biden administration would want to do anything they could to distract from the fact Joe Biden has proved to be a, a less than remarkable president over the last three and a bit years, especially since Donald Trump is doing so well in the polls. Either way, it's a puzzling one, and I wish all you Americans who watch my videos good luck in navigating the current political landscape in your country. Truly, I do not envy you. If you liked that video, please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave me a comment. And if you really, really liked it, then check out the video description for my Subscribestar link and other ways you can support me.